This is an overview of the idle power inspection process for on-site generation connected to the electrical grid. This video will help you prepare for the inspection so when our technician arrives on site, they can pass the inspection and get the meter change in the same visit. Whether you install solar, wind, or hydro, our requirements keep our crews safe and help maintain reliable power for you and your neighbors. Idaho Power's inspection differs from the electrical inspection. The state electrical inspection ensures your installation meets code from the solar panels to the Idaho Power meter. Our inspection ensures that Idaho Power's requirements are met at the grid interconnection point, the Idaho Power meter. Once we receive an application for your proposed system, our engineer will complete a feasibility review and let you know if your application is approved or if changes are needed before connecting to the grid. Then, once your system is built and has passed the local electrical inspection, we'll complete our inspection and install a net meter. When you are ready for the idle power inspection and a meter change, submit the system verification form available on our website. We'll perform your inspection within 10 business days. Severe weather may delay this process. Heavy clouds or snow-covered panels can keep your solar panels from producing energy, so our technician may not be able to complete the disconnect test. You don't need to be home for idle power inspection. Our technician only needs access to the meter and your system's AC disconnect to complete the process. The meter and disconnect must be accessible to Idaho Power 24-7. Behind a gated fence is fine. Behind a lock gate or inside the garage is not. If the gate has a padlock or combination lock on it, we can provide a tool called a horseshoe hasp that allows two locks so Idaho Power also has access. Once on site, the technician will verify the meter number matches the number from your application, check to see if the meter seal is intact, this should never be cut, Visually count the number of panels to ensure that it matches the system size from your application. Look for the state or city electrical permit inspection sticker showing the system has passed inspection. If needed, install permanent signs. Customer owned grid interactive on-site generation at the meter base. Utility disconnect for customer owned generation at the AC disconnect. Check the location of the AC disconnect. The disconnect should be visible and less than 10 feet from the meter base. If it's not, a permanent sign must be on or near the meter base with detailed specific directions on where to find the AC disconnect. The sign can be written directions or a map drawing. The more detailed, the better. The final check is making sure the inverter functions properly during an outage. Please have the system ready to test by making sure the main breaker is on, inverters are energized and programmed if needed, and the system is off only at the AC disconnect. The technician will use an amp meter and probes to measure current and check voltage from your system's wires. Then the technician will turn the AC disconnect to the on position and time how long it takes for your system to power up. If your inverter is working properly, it will wait a minimum of five minutes before it allows power to begin flowing through it. Once complete, the technician will return the solar AC disconnect back to the off position. Sometimes inspections fail, which can be frustrating and inconvenient for the customer and installer. It also adds cost to troubleshoot and reinspect the system. The main reason inspections don't pass is because we are unable to test the outage simulation. Typically, the reason is simple, like the inverters aren't energized or programmed, or the breaker is off. This system requires a second inspection and retest, and a delay to getting your system up and running. Please take an extra few minutes to make sure your system is prepped. The check boxes on the system verification form and an email from us before your inspection can help you remember. If the technician cannot finish the inspection because a condition on the certification checklist was not met, it may require a second visit and a return trip fee will be added to the customer's Idaho Power account. With a successful Idaho Power inspection, the technician will install the net meter at the same time. You may experience a brief power outage while the meter is changed. You'll receive an email on the results of your inspection. If the inspection passes and the net meter was installed, the email will let you know you can turn on your system. If corrections are needed before the net meter is installed, we'll alert you and your installer. There are a couple differences for customers who choose to have non-exporting systems. When the technician performs the outage simulation test, a non-exporting system should not allow energy to flow back to the grid. It also does not require a meter change. To help ensure your system is ready for the inspection and the meter change, remember these tips. Submit the system verification form only after the system has passed its electrical inspection. Ensure your system's breaker is on and your inverters are energized and programmed. Make sure the system's AC disconnect is in the off position. If the AC disconnect is more than 10 feet from the meter or not visible from the meter, install a permanent sign with clear directions to the disconnect. 
And last, if it's winter, make sure the panels stay free of snow. Any questions, please contact Customer Generation at 208-388-2559 or email us at cg at idahopower.com.